We are in the world's first book town, established in 1962. It's called Hay on White. It's got over 20 bookshops They're everywhere. They're all in little alleyways and all over the place. Um, and actually, this place is really, really unusual because it borders between England and Wales. And so you can kind of jump between being in one country and another. I absolutely love it when you can you see it on YouTube where people step from one country to another. I know it's such a YouTube thing to do, but I really, really love it. So we're now in Wales. This is England. You ready? Oh, I'm in England, look. <laughs> <laughs> Wales, England. I'm going to have a turn. Look, Wales, England, Wales, <laughs> England. <laughs> Don't get knocked over Wales. in the process, though. Look at that. Look at that. One, <laughs> my right foot is in Wales and my left foot is in England. I'd rather be in Wales. Travelled over here, stopping in various places along the way. This shop's really cool. So we just stopped off in this lovely park up on the way to uh, Hay on Y. You sort of find these places where it's like, oh, what's that? Let's just check that out. And it's a nice little spot. You can actually stay here for the night. There's a real spring kind of feel to it. It's um, obviously we've only just entered into uh, sort of February, aren't we? But it's um, there's a real kind of nice, nice spring uh, glow to it. And you can hear the little birds tweeting and stuff. So it's lovely. So I'd say we're probably a couple of hours away from Hay on Wye, where we're going. It's, um, this place is incredible. We went years and years ago, so we're, uh, we're really looking forward to it. But look at this, it's like, this is, this is perfect, isn't it? We'll find a park up closer to there when we get there, and then we'll, we'll check out Hay on Wye. We're we going now, Daisy. Should we hit the road? If you're new here, we are Reese, Emma and Daisy, and together in our van called Romany, we travel all across the UK and Europe, exploring the best that it has to offer. Go in your pod. Good girl. Shall we zip you in? I'll just try and get in some really cool B-roll then I was gonna like film it, film cooking it. But I'd not heard Emma say that I needed three what? Three quarters <laughs> three, of a bag, you see three, it's told twice. Three quarters of a bag, so I've piled the whole bag in. <laughs> Honestly, get in, he'll say to me, I'll oh I'll cook for you, love, I'll cook for you. It's more hassle than it's worth, it really is. The amount of instruction, and then you don't listen to it anyway, do you? <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I did know because she told me. Right, let's get this fired up. Every year, Reese makes me a Christmas promise. He started this tradition a few years ago um, and he makes a promise and he puts it into like either a little jar or something like that um, or on a piece of leather or something. And it's like handmade because um, we always make each, we always do something handmade for each other every year. And this year, his Christmas promise was that... What are you doing, Daisy? His Christmas promise was that he was going to cook tea every day for a year. Every day for a year. Everybody that I told just absolutely laughed their heads off. <laughs> Why would you laugh at that? It's not funny, is it? I've managed, I've managed a few days. Because you're o I said to you, you're overcommitting. You can't overcommit yourself. Start small. I oh, know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm doing it tonight. So we are parked up in here on Y. We've arrived, but it's night time. Um, so we've parked up in the car park. You can actually stay. Motorhomes and, and camper vans are welcome in the, in the car park here. So you can actually stay. So we're staying here the night and then we'll check out Hay on Y in the morning. This is a fantastic place to park up. 
not only a camper van's welcome, but also a pirate's. Yeah, we had a really good night's sleep, got up this morning, had a coffee. Unfortunately, Daisy were a bit sick, weren't she, bless her? Yeah, if she don't eat straight away, she gets really sick. Um, so she was a little bit sick because I took her out for a wee first and normally she has a breakfast first. So <laughs> that was my fault. She's feeling better now though, she's alright now. This is it, isn't it? It's like a music vinyl shop. Stop music. We have actually been here before. It's filled with loads of little beautiful antique shops um, and little vintagey places. It's, it's just amazing that every little corner that you turn, there's another amazing, beautiful little shop. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I've just realised that vinyl shop ain't called Stop Music. That means Stop Music. It's called Haystacks Vinyl and Books. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice I love these antique shops. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love them. Oh, look at them for that. It's like your uh, green man. Yeah. Van, isn't it? Oh, it'd be lovely for van. The only problem is they weigh so much, and the more I keep adding into van, the it's like it weighs as much as putting a table in. Daisy. No. No. Stop. It's nice, isn't it? That? We've got the town centre this way. Come around the corner and here's the first bookshop. First of many. Probably over 20, I think. Where's Emma gone? Number two. Honesty books. I remember this from Oh, before. this, yeah, this, this is this really is cool. good. Check this out. Show you the architecture in a second of this place. But look it's in the grounds of Hay, Hay Castle. It's where? In the grounds of Hay Castle. And it's just filled with like so many second hand books, and you just put money in the honesty box. We got quite a lot from here last time we came, didn't we? We used them, we bought them for the cottage um, as like a lot of vintage books, like staging them, you know. Yeah. Look at all these, and it's honesty, so it just got, look, all books are a pound each. And there's just thousands, if you can't find a book here, then you obviously don't like books. <laughs> love about second-hand books is when you open that front cover, um, and it's got like a message into somebody or somebody's name in it. Mm. I absolutely love that. I love the fact that it's got some little message. In it. It's like a moment in time, isn't it, that's been that you're somehow a part of then. So many like cool books. Look, Philip Pullman, The Subtle Knife, one of the best books I've ever read. And then you've got Dan Brown and his Da Vinci Code for a pound. Like, that's just great, isn't it? Well, it's 6 99 new, and it's in good condition. You just cannot beat this place for books, it's incredible. Face, look at this one. Look at this. It's torn apart, is this one, but in the front, I can't even read the name. H R uh, Goose. I can't read that. I'm not sure what that is. Cursor. 1878. How weird's that? When you think 1878, somebody's written that in 1878. We're turning into one of those couples that say things at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that though. It's like Egypt. It's like an encyclopedia. Yeah, it's um, like wallpaper, isn't it? Almost yeah. a pattern. It's just you do. I, I mean, I don't think you find books like that anymore now that go the effort that's gone into to make that. So this is um, Hay Castle. I don't know much about Hay Castle to tell you. There's nothing that tells you kind of about it, is there? Sunday roast served 12 till 3, that tells me enough about it. <laughs> oh, Sunday roast. to do a veggie roast. Normally they have like a plaque, <coughs> don't they, telling you a bit about it. Um, it's a beautiful building, architecturally stunning. Who was this guy? This guy? Ah, I wonder if this tells us a little bit. 
Who's this guy? Look at him. Nice chap, isn't he? He is Richard Booth. That's in Welsh, King of Hay. No, yet again, Daisy's is ruining the experience. Because we can't go in the castle with it. We don't think, anyway. The thing I love about Wales is that it's, it's got its own language. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like everything's in Welsh. This is a country that kind of really celebrates its, um, its identity, and that's fantastic. I won't want to have a go at pronouncing that, though, because I won't do it justice. Hay Castle was built sometime around the 11th and 12th century. It's not exactly clear the date of its completion, but it has led quite a turbulent history. It was originally constructed as part of the Norman invasion of Wales, and the castle was designed as a ringwork overlooking the town. It was rebuilt again at around 1200 by the Brose family, and then it had quite a turbulent history in the fact that it was burnt down, attacked, and what have you on a number of different occasions during the First and Second Barons' Wars. It's just a little handbag, but it's like a, a tiny little clutch bag, vintage. It's got a little purse in front of it. It's like an antiques market, isn't it? Yeah, it's a flea market. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. We've actually come at the right time for ones. We usually come the day after these things. Oh, just closing <laughs> when we get there, of course. <laughs> from all through the years. Look. Don't know if that's local. <laughs> we love these little flea markets. Oh, that's I cool. love these. You I get really all like these that. little. I'm gonna have a rummage through Oh, there. I've got to, I've got to get some of these. Look at these. Oh, is it tiara? Five for a pound. Oh, that's not bad, is it? No. And they're all different. You can make different jewellery out of them and things like that, but I'd just wear that one because I think that's gorgeous. Thank you. Do you need me to buy something sort? Um, no, I under pram. You're all right. I'll save, sure? yeah. I'll pop this one straight on anyway, because I think this one's beautiful. <laughs> Where do we go now? It's like, it's so many windy streets, you don't actually know which one to go down. No, so it's many. one of those places where you just um, get lost again. A lot of the places that we visit, like <laughs> which ain't, ain't great for me, because, as you know, I, I tend to get lost quite a lot. <laughs> Keep your eye on me. You don't even know where you are when you do know where you Not are, do you? <laughs> Not a clue. Is that a charity shop? Yeah, it's an Oxfam, that one. Yeah, let's have a look in here. It'll be no dogs, though, in this one. Ah, oh, yeah, no dogs except Oxfam's five dogs. the only one that don't like dogs, isn't okay. it? Poor oh, Daisy. Daisy, you can't go in. Look, she's, she's, looking, she's looking away in disgust. <laughs> I have to take it in turns. Do you want I'll to go, go in first? Go. Ladies first. You can't go in there. I know. What a shame. Three hours I've been waiting so far outside this shop. <laughs> you can probably hear us, she'll have a mic switched on. We'll just carry on waiting and waiting. <laughs> oh, she's there. Oh, she's found, she's found some boots. Don't touch that, I'm going to buy that. It's going to get there first. Leave me money. I think you'll be able, this is weird because you'll be able to hear her. Because she's got a mic on. I need my money. But she wants some money, look. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my goodness, this handbag is just like... Won't be a sec, I'm just going to grab oh, my money. <laughs> my husband's fumbling around trying to find it in my purse. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. I can't find it. It's in back of bag. <laughs> I've just found the, the boots. You know the boots that I ruined on were doing the boat? And I got them for like 50p off a car boot and I've worn it. I wore them for about five years and, and I loved them. And I ruined them, and I've been searching and searching to try and find some more, and I've just found some in there. Oh, good. <laughs> They're a bit dearer than 50p, but <laughs> still cheap. Look at that coat. I well. know, I've spotted that. 24 99 but I absolutely love it. I might have a look at that. Gorgeous. Does anybody else find, like, handbags? Like, Emma's handbag. It's like, um, it's like a magic handbag. If you've seen, like, Harry Potter or whatever with um, Hermione's bag, that magic bag, and it's just like she brings out a microwave or whatever Thank from it. Thank you very it's much. It's like that. It's like Aladdin's cave in that bag. So she says, oh, find, find me my purse. She's paying now, I can hear her. 
find with my purse. It's got numb fingers. Um, and it, I just can't find it. I like, have to keep a bobble like around my money because if you put it in your purse, it just flies out. Exactly and you the same yeah. it the purse. These new shiny ones, there. you just can't control them, can you? Are you okay, Daisy? I could have gone and got a caramel latte while we've been waiting, could not we? Look at all this we've got left to explore, guys. We'll go down there in a second. Oh, I'm Did so pleased I've got them. They're lovely, though, aren't and they? And they're all furry. Oh, they'll keep your feet nice and toasty. But, and I, if gorgeous. anybody designs boots, right, please put the fur all the way to the toes. Why do they not do that? You get to the bottom where you actually want your feet to be warm and there's no fur. But they are made by June, so they should be a good, good, uh, strong boot, I think. Nice. Right. <coughs> My turn. I'll just jacket that one in there, but just can't bring myself to pay like twenty four ninety nine from a second hand shop. It just goes a bit far, don't it? You've had it donated. Don't think you need to charge twenty four ninety nine for it. It's just a bit excessive. It's you know meant to be for people that ain't got much money out there and to try and you know get what you need at an affordable price. And I think when. Considering when they're new, they're only about 30 odd quid. I think it's a bit much. I think he's found some trousers, but he won't get them without checking that I like them first. <laughs> I told you, look. <laughs> oh, he's found something else. Hang on. He's found something else. A scarf. Yeah, I do like that, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. I do like that. It, I, you'd think that I pick his clothes and make him pick certain things, but I couldn't care less what he wears or he doesn't, but he does always check with me every time. <laughs> I have actually got really warm feet at the minute because I bought these little tea bag things, like disposable things, they look like little tea bags, and you put them in your shoes and they keep your feet really, really warm. And the more you walk, the more you activate them. But the only problem is I remember having them when I was a kid at school, and uh, if you run, they activate them loads and they become really, really hot. And so the more you run, the hotter they get. And then you can't help it because you're going round and round in circles because your feet are so warm, you keep running. <laughs> Go on, they show us what you got. So I've got a pair of these. I've been looking for a pair of combats for ages because they're so comfy and I used to have a pair. And you often find these, but the cluster's vintage now, so they're often about 80 quid. Um, so I got, I found these for a fiver. Can't go wrong, can you? And a nice colourful scarf, John Lewis scarf. You so look like soft. Doctor Who. That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought, if anybody needs any styling tips, I'm definitely a man at it. So I thought, oh, that's cool. I like that. Go and explore. Let's see what else we can see. That's nice. Oh, Some look at that. <gasps> that reminds me of Only Fools and Horses clip, though, doesn't oh, it? Oh, <laughs> that is the best clip, isn't it? Another bookshop. I've lost count of how many bookshops we've found so far. Is that four? Yeah, you'll have, you'll have to comment if you can four find out. them. Yeah, comment if you can if you spot a bookshop. Another how many we've got? Shop. Oh, this looks interesting. Look at oh, that. It smells nice. Emporium. Get it if you really want. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go uh, explore down here. I want to remember we got some um, we got some vintage stuff from where this shop here before. Yeah, I think it was um, like timeless treasures. Yeah, they had like a box outside and everything were like a pound or something, wasn't it? Uh, hey on why uh, in Wales? If you like, oh wow, look at this! Huh? That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that! I love the colours of them, like browns and. That oranges. was where we got the, the stuff from, it was that one. Yeah, it was this one, yeah. They had like the a thing outside pocket and antiques. everything were like a couple of pounds. Another bookshop there, look, the poetry bookshop. That's six, is it, we're on now? I don't know, lost, lost count. count. <laughs> but yeah, if you like antiques, books, it's got that feel, is not it? Like, it's really, look, book centre, 100 metres on the left. we went through before where were it up that way i think so them little passages with the books in yeah we need to find that don't we book center 100 meters on the left there's just 
there's books everywhere. <laughs> Now, we haven't been to Wales in like over a year. I think the last Wales episode we did was Watkins Path um, when we were wild from on, Snowdon, on Mount Snowdon. Uh, but Wales is just incredible. I love everything about it. I love the language. I love the fact they're proud of their own language. There's Welsh flags everywhere. It's really, really cool. Um, and I just love the towns and villages and the Welsh countryside is stunning. Just stunning. Another bookshop. 1886. Where's Amagon? Oh, she's over there. Very nearly got lost again then. But she's over here. I found so it. All good. It's what? I found it. You found what? The tunnel. Oh, the tunnel. <laughs> Wait till you see this tunnel. Called the Book Passage. How cool is this place? It's down a little alleyway and it's just filled with books. Emma's already reading one. I just get lost in the old... I can love the the old, old, really old books and stuff. I just I don't read them. I'm rubbish at reading stories, as I said before. But I do like uh, I do like to look at old books and have them all on display. And if it's anything factual, I love stuff like that. Look at this on an old alleyway. Give me an encyclopedia any day. <laughs> look at this book of British towns, stuff like that. I like look. Oh, there you go, look. Oh, yeah. We're after a map of, uh, of Britain. That's perfect. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Got the full we'll size in there. Pound. And you've got all the old... <coughs> it's got all the British towns in there as well. Look, Met books like that anymore, do they? Old little penguin books. And it takes you back years when you were at school. The thing that I love the most about books is that every single book in this alleyway tells a story. Every single book is another world that you can explore and go into. It's the imagination in it that, that books just bring different worlds to life. See, and I think the other side of it, I think where like every book in here is like, it's who owned it? Who owned it? Where did they read it? Where were they sitting when they read it? You know, how many families does it pass through? What has that book seen? Like, if the book could actually tell you the story of what it's seen, that's the way that I kind of view books. And the, the smell, like the smell of old books, I don't really like the smell of new books. Some people do, don't you do, don't you? But yeah. I like the smell of old books, that kind of dusty smell. It's just gorgeous. Another bookshop, bookshop studio, bookshop cinema. What's bookshop cinema? Richard Booth's bookshop cinema. Well, it is a cinema, isn't it? Look at that, yeah, it's a really old little cinema. We must have a little bookshop inside as well. Oh, look at these little streets with these little houses. How nice is this street? Imagine living here. Got like the mountains in the background. That's lovely. I absolutely love that old bell. Amazing, isn't it? This is, this is what? St. Saint John's Church. But um, I just noticed it because I was just like, oh, that. I love that little bell and the, like the chimneys. And I think stuff. they've taken that really from the original because it's rebuilt. It says that it's um, St John's Church, originally a pre-Elizabethan chapel for the Guild of Tradesmen and Chantry, rebuilt in 1934 outside the site of the original church. Oh, I wonder what happened to the original church. Yeah. Shop number, whatever it is. So we're going to go find somewhere to uh, have a nice coffee now. A lot of exploring done there, so we're going to go and uh, get a caramel latte. Warm my hands up. My feet are still toasty with them little things in my shoes, though. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Mammy gone? She's OK. Oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. My hands are really cold as well. You need some gloves. You've got about 16 pairs. I know, I always forget. No, that's... Um... 
I always forget them, and then the other ones I've got in van, I've actually burnt a hole in them. I can't remember how I did that, but I somehow burnt a hole in wool. I burnt probably all wool. toasting bread on stove. Probably, like yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I have some gloves because I've come prepared, so now she's not going to suffer. <laughs> My fingers, they go completely, you can see there, look, they go completely dead. They just go, I've got like what well, the Raynoise disease, and so like those three are just dead now, and they're really painful. It's not for you, Daisy, you can't have coffee. This golden post box. So golden post box are in the UK when there's a gold Olympic medalist from that place apparently. Two hundred thousand bucks. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see what two hundred thousand bucks look like. So that's what two hundred thousand bucks looks like. I actually got lost in there. I couldn't find my way out. It was like a maze. <laughs> Get you a new ball. I don't know if they've got the same one again, Daisy. Getting Daisy a ball. She used to have one that we bought from this shop. You lost your ball, didn't you? I don't think you're going to get another one, Daisy. I think it was a one off. Not rubber, but it does squeak. But she likes that. <laughs> she like that one. <laughs> Which one do you like? Yeah. So we've spotted um, a band, like a free gig that we're going to go to tonight. And we always miss that sort of stuff. Everywhere we go, we arrive the day after it's happened, um, don't we, constantly. Or the day before and we can't wait around because we've got somewhere else to be. So we're all looking forward to this, yeah, We just we? saw it on a flyer and it were like, band, free band tonight. So we're going to go check that out. It's Gypsy Jazz. Gypsy no Jazz. No idea what Gypsy Jazz Whatever is. That is. Sounds good. Yeah. So Daisy's going to experience the first Gypsy Jazz concert. This is what I like about being on road, though, because you just come across these really, like random things that are happening and places to go and you're gonna you know you don't know who you're gonna meet tonight do you? you could meet anybody fantastic night last night met a really nice bloke called paul that was a keyboard player in the band absolutely amazing it never fails to like surprise me how many nice people we meet and how many weird and wonderful things that we do when we're traveling around so that's it from us guys this week thank you so much for watching join us next week tuesday 8 p.m and until then keep writing your own story